What's going on, y'all? This is Mr. TechBot, and we are out here in an early morning out at Port Orleans French Quarter. Now, of course, I'm here this early because we stayed over here this past weekend, and uh, we had an absolute blast. But I know I've done a resort tour before, but, you know, it's probably one of my early ones, so, you know, and it's been a while, so I don't know if there's been a whole lot of updates, but we're going to do one anyways. Why? Because this is such a beautiful resort. I want you guys to be able to see what I saw when I came here and I absolutely loved it. And hopefully maybe this can help you decide if you want to stay here on your next Disney World vacation. So we're going to take a walk around the, the area. We're going to take a look at some of these great buildings, this great theming they have out here. Um, some of the great amenities that you get when you come out here to Port Orleans French Quarter. And we're going to be able to see what's what's the, the greatness about you know this resort and why I love it. Now this is a moderate resort so this is you know right in between the deluxe and of course the value resorts you can get a little bit more than the um you're gonna get a little bit more than the value resorts will give you but you're gonna get a little bit less than the deluxe of course um and uh but they do not let down on the theming that's why i love about moderate resorts it's right there in the middle it's kind of fits the good the families the the you know everybody they're all around everybody you know so I, that's why i love this location so let's go ahead and take a walk around. Let's see what this resort has to offer. All right, so we're gonna start right out here in front. We of course have the valet right here and not too far from the valet, right over here are the two bus stops. Of course, you know, in there you got A and B, um, different locations. So just make sure to keep an eye on the signage for when you're staying here, if you're taking the buses to the resort. And of course, again, we said the valet, we got the baggage area, it's right over there. And then of course, if you're driving in, this would be the guest parking for when you're coming in to check in, if you're checking in. But then again, a lot of people do mobile check-in, so they really, who really hits the registration desk much anymore? And of course, we enter the front lobby. Uh, this, of course, is a nice fountain right here in the front. Um, I love the kind of decorations up towards the top. You got the jesters up there. Um, again, I, I've been to New Orleans once, never been there during Mardi Gras, so I don't know how, you know, um, unique that is to New Orleans and Mardi Gras. If you're, if you're from New Orleans, please give a comment down below and let me know. But right over here, we have, of course, the registration desk just off to your right at the front entrance and this is where you go they kind of do the desk as your concierge which is your check-in your ticket your dining your tours um, so it's kind of a uh, one of all so if you don't do mobile check-in this is where you come if you do mobile check-in you have a problem at the at with your room this is where you come come talk to these nice folks they'll get you all taken care of or anything else for the rest of your stay and also right past the registration desk we have the arcade uh, it looks like the arcade does have an hours of 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. and it's about 7.50, but guess what? The doors are open. Now, of course, there's a lot of noise, a lot of craziness. This is, I believe, I believe, two sides. This is actually a rather big arcade compared to a lot of them out here at Disney. So you kind of get all the main necessities. You got another entrance out the back side for this. So it is a good uh, size arcade. If you guys are hanging around the resort, want to kill a little bit of time, maybe you got time to your reservation and you can come out here and hang out in the arcade. And also I just noticed here, if you are getting ready to leave for the parks today and you need to fill up a water bottle, then you do have a little water bottle station right here, um, right off of the registration area. Now heading back into the lobby, we have the bar and cafe and the float works. Of course, this is two different technical areas. The float works is the standard quick service for the area. But I want to show you this because my family absolutely love this. Parent trip, you have the Scat Cat Club Cafe. Um, we've pretty much have come here every night to get some beignets. Uh, you get the Mickey shaped beignets. I think you can get the standard 
you know, square beignets too. Um, but you know, if you're coming to Disney, why, why aren't you going to get the, the Mickey head beignets? Why not? You get dipping sausage. You can even get them boozed up if you really want to. Right now they actually have a haunted mansion specialty. That is actually awesome. But of course this is, you know, designed towards the jazz style of New Orleans. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. They can get really busy, but we've also had times where my wife has pretty much ordered and they had our food ready to go. So this is a fun little spot to, to go to. Uh, you get your coffees in the morning from here and everything, but make sure you stop and get them beignets. And you can even come out here and hang out at these little tables right out here and, uh, you know, have your beignets or, you know, maybe even go outside. There's a bunch of tables outside too. Heading into Floatworks. Of course, this is the uh, quick service. Everyone comes down here for breakfast in the morning. Uh, well, not everybody, but you know, if you want to start your day off and, and things like that, get ready for the parks, come down here, get a bite to eat. So of course, it's a big, big area. I love this stuff they got hanging from the ceiling. Uh, of course, a lot of the masks and stuff like that. You get a lot of mass things here. Uh, you got all different options here inside the food court as well. Um, if you, get, you want more details, I did do a breakfast video. So hit the comment up above and you can see more details on this but of course you can see up here we've got more masks and i want to show you over here you got a really cool display case of nothing but different masks and stuff like that so a lot of fun area for kids stuff like that but it's one of the smaller quick service dining areas that i've been to because i think all stars was a lot bigger um, but i think this is a lot more themed and uh, a lot more fun all right, as we make our way out in the courtyard, of course, there's a courtyard heading out towards the buildings, but you got a lot of nice little seating area if you wanna have your breakfast out here, or just wanna have a place to meet before you guys head out to the park. But straight ahead, this is probably one of my favorite picture views of the whole place. You've got, this is heading down towards the pool, and you have, of course, the gators, everything like that. But I'm gonna stop out here real quick because there's something really, really cool and special even down to the small details that this location does. Where, you know, of course you'll see golf carts driving back and forth, stuff like that, but they have these kind of walkways set up kind of like streets. And I think that is incredibly cool, but you can see some of the buildings back there. We got a playground right up front here. And then you see down this view, and it looks like you're walking maybe down a New Orleans street, kind of a little smaller. Um, but again, I've only been there one time, so I don't know how authentic it is. Um, but, you know, looking back at the lobby, of course, you got the big open area and then the buildings on either side. So, you know, it's definitely really centered. Now, this is one of the smaller resorts. There is a Port Orleans Riverside that's a lot bigger. Uh, this only has a total of seven buildings. Of course, I love that you got these alligators kind of hanging out here, having a little bit of fun. My kids love this. You do have a playground area. It's one of the smaller ones I've seen at resorts. Um, my kids got a little bit bored at, at the beginning. And this is the only thing I think is a little odd is you got the pool all the way over there. But before you get to the pool, you have the hot tub. The hot tub is completely separated. It looks like they maybe had drained it so far today, uh, maybe refilling it from there. But I mean, the, the hot tub is there. It is small, but, and it's kind of way off on the side, which to me is a little weird, you know, especially since it's been a little cold out. We Kids have been wanting to go at night. And I've been freezing my butt off in the pool because it's been it's been cold, but it's been chilly. And when you're out in chilly water, you know, you get there. But again, I love these alligators. Lots of fun. You have a restroom area right here on your right hand side. If you guys come in early and you need to change uh, before your room is ready, this is where you can come to come hang out at the pool. You got the changing area and then right over here, you've got the pool bar. Of course, it's early in the morning. It's not open yet. But they have lots of cool specialty items, especially if you're here during the day. And then right out here, you've got a nice little seating area that, uh, you know, if you guys want to just hang out by the pool, maybe don't want to be right at the pool or anything like that. So it, it's a lot of fun. Now, of course, it's still early in the morning. They have pool hours from 10 to 10. Um, so they don't have it open quite yet. But what I love about this pool is this is probably one of the, I guess, big time themed pools. Of course, this is the tail. This is all the way down there at the end. 
all the way through, you can see it winds in and out, but there is a sea serpent with trident right up on top. We'll walk around the other side so we can get a little bit better view. But uh, that is the water slide and it is a lot of fun. Uh, my kids have really enjoyed it. We've got a, you know, you have a jester that comes out here and welcomes you into the pool area. So, you know, and, and a lot of times right behind here is where the activity director people, they usually set up and have a lot of fun with the kids out here at the pool. So as we walk around the pool, I want to show you guys, these are of course the buildings. They're not going to be overall different compared to say some other moderate resorts like um, Caribbean Beach, Coronado, but it's all about the theming. Of course, you got some great open railings, uh, the trellises, stuff like that, that, you know, just kind of makes you feel a little French Quarter uh, type, a lot of color in these buildings. Um, the rooms are going to be fairly similar in the as, as the buildings are fairly similar from resort to resort, but it just makes you kind of step in with the, you know, what I love about this and actually uh, Riverside is the same way is there's so much lush green to this area and it's just, uh, you know, a ton of fun. So I want to step up here, kind of show you guys a little bit more of the pool. The sun's just starting to come up. So this is a great view. I'm not trying to buy myself, but you can see kind of a cool little clam shell. You got some alligators um, underneath it. And that thing actually sprays water out in the, into the lagoon area, into the pool area. So that's a ton of fun. And then, of course, this is actually a bridge that can, you know, if you don't want to get wet or walk all around, you can take the bridge, kind of go to the other side by the water slide. But that's, especially with that sun coming up, you can see Trident there with his, um, I guess, King Trident with his trident right there. And that's that's actually a really, really cool, awesome view. Um, they also do have a splash pad area for the younger kids. So definitely uh, check that out. But we're gonna look get a little bit closer when we get to the other side. I'd be interested to know, again, for a person like me who's only been to New Orleans once, you know, I stayed down in near Bourbon Street, stuff like that. If you're from Louisiana, and you are, you know, know the French Quarter, and this is that's your your backyard, I want to ask you, does this make you feel like French Quarter in Louisiana? Does it, you know, give you that feel? I want to know how authentic Disney got with this. So please just leave a comment down below if you are from those areas. And please let me know. I, I would love to know. But for me, I mean, if I see pictures of Louisiana and French Quarter, stuff like that, this somewhat reminds me of it. So yeah, it, it kind of lets you take a step into it. Now, for those of you who do smoke, you know, we're not smokers by any means, but we understand there are people that, that are smokers. They do have a little spot right off here, right off the river, that uh, you can have a little smoking area. Now, I know smoking is not allowed on the parks, but, you know, you're at resorts that can't, you know, eliminate it all the time, but you got a nice little spot right out here off the river. You can come and have your cigarette, cigar, whatever you're needing. Now, also, the great part about this resort, a good amenity, is it has... Uh, boats, tra boat transportation. So what does that mean? That means you can take this boat that comes around here, I don't know how often, but you can take that over to Disney Springs. And this, which is great because a lot of times Disney Springs, the parking over there, the buses, they can be a huge pain in the butt. Take this over there. You got, I think, three um, docks out there at Disney Springs. You can grab a boat right back over here to Port Orleans. And then if, if anything, if you wanted to, great part, you can take this all the way down. I believe that this uh, goes all the way down towards Riverside, um, Old Key West, and maybe even Saratoga Springs. So you can visit multiple resorts off of these boat lines. Now, of course, we've made it over to the other side of the pool. We have gotten by the serpent, the sea serpent, of course, that's winding his way through the pool area. But uh, you can see this is a rather large pool. Uh, one of the bigger ones I've seen on property. It's actually got three small little sections too. One where the water slide comes out of another smaller cove section, then another cove section where they do the activities. And then even another cove section over there on the other side of that clamshell. So it is actually a really good sized pool. Um, instead of like uh, at Animal Kingdom Lodge, it was just a big circular pool. So you can have a lot of um, fun. It's got different depths. So, you know, for, for you and your family, you know, you can kind of hit all different stuff. But man, come on, who doesn't want to jump, go out of a water slide that's looking like yeah. that? They have this little thing right here for a scenic cruise on Disney Port Orleans, Sasagula River. 
Um, and hopefully I'm saying that right. But of course you can see it starts all the way over here at Disney Springs Marketplace. There's a landing at Disney Springs Marketplace and a west side. So you do have three stops over there. And then it looks like it heads on over to Saratoga Springs, which it keeps going down the river. And you're going to hit Old Key West, which is right down here. And then you're going to come around to French Quarter. And then it's going to end up here at Riverside. So that way would be... So that means that way would be Old Key West, and that way would be Riverside. So again, you can take, you can really have fun with this. Take a nice little half a day, go over to Disney Springs, and then you know maybe check out some other resorts at the same time. Again, I told you they have seven total buildings around here. Of course, this is Building Two, and I believe Riverside has a lot more. In fact, here's here's a cool if you're if you are a runner. I know we got a marathon coming up soon, but this kind of gives you an idea of the property. They do have a little running trail around here. Down here is where French Quarter is, and up here is where Riverside is. You can definitely tell you got four big buildings, and you got a bunch of small buildings. So a lot more buildings over at Riverside than French Quarter, but. You know, you're going to have your your pluses and minuses when it comes to that, um, where you're going to have more people. But I believe the pool is a tiny bit bigger over there. It's a little bit more down country type of, of look over at Riverside. But, hey, that just means I haven't stayed there yet before. And that just means we're going to have to stay there to go check it out. So, of course, we're coming up on, again, seeing the architecture of these buildings. Again, three-story buildings. You got basic rooms in there. And if you want to see what the rooms look like inside, hit up my room tour. I went ahead and posted up one of those as well. And if you want to see what the inside of the rooms look like, go ahead and hit that little link up above and that'll tell you, take you to my room tour. And of course, the last part of the pool, as we make ourselves around, this is the splash area. They got a little splash area for the younger kids. You got to be under 48 inches in order to come play in here. Uh, but this gives a little separated area for the younger ones, the smaller ones, um, to play around and not be pushed around by some of the bigger kids. So um, this is a lot of fun. My youngest one loves playing in this, these type of areas. Now, as far as buildings go, they separated them up pretty well. On, on this side of the resort, you got one, two, and three. The closest buildings to the lobby is two and three. And on the other side, back there which is where we were staying at we were staying in four which is right up there in that corner you got four five six and seven now four and five are the closest to the lobbies so if you guys want to be closer to the lobby the pool area you can always request it's not always guaranteed but you can always request to be in one of those four buildings um, to help out so just think about that two and three on one side four and five on the other side. Now there's one last place to look at because they weren't quite open when we were walking through the lobby, but why not? It's at the end of every ride and it's a gift shop. However, at resort gift shops, they can come in quite handy. Maybe you forgot something, maybe there's something you didn't, you, you know, you don't have transportation to go somewhere else. So they do have some basic necessities out here. Of course you can get some, you can get some snacks, get some ice cream. You get some basic breakfast foods to put in your rooms, like donuts and things like that. You do have some drinks here uh, that you can get. I believe there's larger sodas. You got some chips. I believe too. I'm trying to find it. Oh, there it is. If you forgot some medication type stuff or some basics, shaving cream, deodorant, you know, um, some blocks, stuff like that. They do have some stuff here. It's going to be more expensive than other places, but you do have it. Now, the rest of this place is going to be basic gift shop type item. But the best part I love about some resorts is they have some specialty items just for those resorts. Right up front here, of course, got some Port Orleans Tiana cups. Also got some cool Port Orleans cups there. And then you've also got things like the gumbo base, the Cajun black chicken. Of course, you got some beignet mini ears. We got pralines next, we got coffee. We've got beignet made from Cafe Dumont in uh, New Orleans. Of course, if you want to take a little bit of piece of your vacation and bring it to Christmas, you got some ornaments in here. And then of course you got some specific Dooney bags right down here for Port Orleans and then a nice shirt. But that's not just it. What my wife loves is these right here. Told you, we love beignets. 
So we got the beignet all day cup and shirt. What we also thought was real cool is you got the Scat Cat Live Jazz. And of course you got the Shadow Man's hat right there in the middle. Um, they even got a shirt that goes along with that as well. And they also got some polo Portaline's shirts. So of course more Tiana, Prince and the Frog, Princess and the Frog, stuff like that. Now one of the area throughout this resort in some of the nooks and crannies, you're gonna find these wonderful little you know, uh, park grassy areas. Now this one in particular is a lot of fun because this is where they do the nightly movies. They put up one of those big inflatable projectors. You can come out here, sit on the grass, sit on the benches, and enjoy a movie. Last night they were playing Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, which was a lot of fun, but you know, it, it's right out here in the open and it's nice, but they have some other really cool little greenery gardens all around this property. And I love this fountain. It just sounds cool. For some reason, I love fountains. I don't know what it is. Maybe you do too. But it just sounds very peaceful. And I, that's what I love about this. But that's pretty much it. it. It's actually a rather small resort. And sometimes that could actually become in very good handy if you want to come out here or stay on your Disney vacation. So again, it's not very big. It's, it's, a, it's a seven building location. And it, it's relatively all close to one another. So it's unlike a location like Coronado uh caribbean beach even riverside for that matter and so it, it's a little bit smaller and if that's what you're looking for in your disney vacation definitely take advantage of that and this could be a spot for you great theming good amenities and that way you can spend some time in the park spend some time at the resort enjoy it a little bit slow down sometimes we, you know we all get focused on being in the parks so much that you know they we, we kind of forget you know that we're in Disney World that they there's much more to Disney World than just the parks so you know this could be a good advantage for you when you come out to stay now do one thing I will remind you is in these buildings these buildings are very big they're usually about three sections a piece with that there's only one elevator so the elevator could be way on the other side of where your room is compared to the long side so there's a lot of stairs on either end so you can take kind of take advantage of those as well i'm going to probably back to this location many more times in the future as we really enjoy this my kids really enjoy this now mind you my kids have been to a lot of places whereas the last time when we picked we went to animal kingdom the last place we went to was all stars so that's where they wanted to go then they loved animal kingdom well next time we went to french court now they absolutely love this and this is where they want to stay so they they're just kind of a habit of what they're used to seeing but they have never really been too disappointed in the amenities that you do get out here and they've always had fun especially with them give them a pool whether it's basic or whether it's themed and they are absolutely going to love it that's all i have for you guys hopefully i've answered a lot of y'all's questions um out there if i did it please leave me a comment down below and let me know but i gotta ask you to do one favor for me go ahead and hit that like button if you like this type of content because it's going to help me in that YouTube algorithm as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with those post notification bells so that way you get notified of all the recent videos that I do put out. Other than that, as I always like to say here at Mr. TechBot, do what you like, do what you love, and always guys, never forget to unleash your internet. Y'all have a good one. Later.